Okay, let's take this uh, Land Rover Lightweight 12 volt Series 3. Um, I think it's a 1973 model for a spin. It's just come into us in part exchange, just driven down uh, over 100 miles. And I've just taken it for a quick spin around the block and it's driving really nicely actually. Uh, all light ignition light come up properly. Starts nicely and the engine sounds really smooth on it. Really quite nice. Uh, the only thing I can find, the heater blower motor isn't working. A little bit misted up, but hopefully that will. We open a front vent, that will hopefully disappear in a minute. Right, off we go. I'll say 1973, although it is currently on a Q plate, I would imagine when it first came out of army service, nobody could be bothered to find out uh, what year it was actually made. And it's something I think last year that somebody got a heritage certificate for it um, that showed it was built in 73. So I guess it could be return to um, a proper 1973 registration if uh, if you can be bothered unfortunately it won't be tax free but uh, anyway it starts nice as I say and performs really well no uh, misfiring hesitancy or overheating it's just had a new distributor on it which is always a big help on these engines hit the right day for it certainly no, engine sounds sweet and nice, gearbox is nice, there's no synchro problems or jumping out of gear or anything like that. And the whole drivetrain actually feels really quite nice and solid on it. If I back off sharply there's no clunking or anything, so the whole drivetrain feels good. Steers well, it's not wandering all over the road. It has got a smaller steering wheel on it which isn't really to my taste but um, putting an original one back on isn't difficult. I may have a, an original one somewhere. All the gauges seem to be working. Speedo, fuel gauge and temperature gauge. Now these normally have twin tanks. I must admit, I don't know if this one's uh, still got both tanks connected. <coughs> Maybe not have still both tanks fitted in until we do the, uh, the external video. But it's fine, it just gets on with it really. These are the fastest of vehicles. They're very characterful. It's certainly not as noisy as some of them are. A lot of the noise you get on these is the tyres. In fact, this one's got um, this sort of uh, army spec 750 by 16s on it, I think. So um, you do get a little bit of uh, tyre roar on them. Brakes nicely enough. Accelerate smoothly without uh, say any nasty noises or misfiring or anything. Showing 51,000 miles. No idea if that's genuine or not until I look at the history, but even then I probably couldn't say, probably couldn't warrant it. You generally can't with these ex army ones. It's got a nice relatively new Exmoor trim hood on it as well. Stops nicely and pulls up in a straight line as it did then. Very nice gearbox on it as well. All in all, just a really rather nice little lightweight, I think. Okay, pulls away sharply. Very 
very few rattles and squeaks on it, which is again quite unusual. Really rather good, I'd say. I think that's about it, really. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771. 906-9353 or in the office on 0118-946-3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. End.